Well, it was never intended we should open this ward, but in many ways we're a hospital that's fortunate we have got the old QE. We've had so many patients coming in through A&E, it's coming in acutely throughout patients, that actually it's been a blessing that we've been able to open these wards to accommodate the patients. Quite a lot of patients we have got in hospital could be cared for elsewhere, but there is no alternative at the moment and patients need the care that we're able to provide here. OK, so what can be done about this? Because we saw yesterday the kind of bottleneck of A&E, patients coming in who perhaps shouldn't have come in at all, but you've got them, so you have to deal with them. And a lot of them are still here way beyond when they should be, so what can you do about that? Well, as a hospital, there's not an awful lot we can do about it because A&Es have to remain open and do remain open. But I think A&Es are a sign of pressure in the whole system. When patients can't get to see a GP, when they can't find any alternative, then they come to the A&E department. It's what's there. But the other problem we've seen and why we've needed to open up additional beds is it's getting harder to discharge patients. Since July last year and now, we've seen a doubling, a 100% increase in patients waiting to get, get social care. That's care in the community or perhaps nursing or residential home care. And they're waiting in our beds until that care becomes available. So we've seen a massive increase in beds taken up by that kind of, of patient, but also patients who could go home if we could provide care in the community. And we've talked a lot about care out of hospital, but actually we need to provide it so we can discharge patients quicker. All right, so we've got a bottleneck at the beginning of A&E at that whole uh, coming in stage, and we've got a bottleneck at the other end because there isn't the social care in place. So what needs to happen? Well, it's care before hospital and it's care after hospital needs to be uh, increased, if you like. So care before hospital, patients having ready access to urgent and acute care. And some of the patients you saw yesterday could have uh, easily fitted into that category. But also make it easier to discharge patients, so far more care in the community. I mean, we've estimated there are about 100 patients in our bed at the moment who could be cared for out in the community if the services existed. But they're just not there at the moment, so we keep them in longer till we finish their course of treatment but equally we've got an aging population more people with chronic diseases we need more social care and that could be as simple as um, home helps or more people caring for people in the home as well as nursing and residential care